What screams insecurity but most people don't realize? Never apologizing. Some people will twist the story, change the way it happened and retell it so convincingly that they'll believe their own nonsense but will never apologize. When they can give you shit all day but can't take it back whatsoever. Ridiculing other people's achievements. Jealousy over little things. Taking a situation that was never about you or had you involved in it, and somehow making it all about yourself and playing victim even though you had meddle in it and make yourself the victim. Insulting your friend in front of others to be cool. Always having something negative to say when something good happens to someone else. For example oh you're going to hate that new job or they should have done X instead. Just be happy that someone else is happy. Putting other people down and bragging. When they can't make fun of themselves. The incessant need to compare. Edit thanks for the silver smiling face. Explaining how smart you are. Having a Reddit username like you Ima lick your ass. Just eat it OP. When they can't take constructive criticism. When they found a point that makes them look better than the other person and continue to overstay on that point. Mocking overly criticizing others. Looking through these comments to see if there's anything you do listed here. Obsessing over hierarchies, or who is ahead and who is behind in life. Those handshakes that are firm to the point you wonder if they're actually trying to hurt you. Constantly talking shit on other people for an inflated sense of self-worth. Being loud and domineering in every conversation. My friend in his forties who has to tell me who he slept with and show me pictures of them every time we meet up. I feel like I should start taking pictures of the beers I drink when I'm not with him so I can show him when we catch up. Bragging and giving yourself titles. I'm an alpha male. Mocking other people's physical features or personal character traits. We get it, you're projecting. When people one-up you. Always being judgy about other people. Being a bully. Selling NFTs of yourself. Posting pictures of yourself with tons of filters on. Trying to justify every mistake, usually it's minimal, but once you notice someone that does it, you just can't stop noticing it when they do it. Being mean. Domineering, loud and braggadocious. Constantly fishing for compliments and approval e.g. will speak poorly of themselves in hopes of receiving compliments. People who speak poorly of others who are happy and enjoying life are also insecure in my opinion especially speaking poorly of people who have more money than them. Being the funny one in a group at others mostly the quiet one's expense. On the flip side, being open about your insecurities and really trying to overcome them is a great character trait. I see a lot of comments here branding common insecurities as red flags, and I don't think one should consider insecurities inherently evil. Being insecure doesn't make you a bad person. It's how you let your struggles control you that defines whether they are problematic or not. Gossiping and triangulation. Talking about someone they have issues with other people, without addressing the issue directly with the person whom they have a problem with screams insecurity. The three I always look out for are. 1. Overt displays of intelligence prowess. 2. Belittling others. 3. A need to closely monitor the behavior of others. Always having a defense excuse prepared for any inkling of criticism. 1. Wearing massive designer logos such as Philip Pline on everything. 2. Bragging about money girls. 3. Lying about the smallest and meaningless things. 4. Changing their views and principles based on who they speak to in the hope they'll be liked. When you achieve something or improve your life in any way, and their first instinct is to tease or make fun of you, it actually screams instant jealousy. The inability to take any criticism at all. Most of the top answers I see at this time are pretty typical signs of insecurity, so I'll drop one I don't often see being on all the time. 
You know those people who are always doing a bit, or are generally hyper-engaging all the time. Many of them are covering up all kinds of internal strife. Those fucking oversized SUVs that think they own the damn road. Not listening. Preparing the next smart thing to say without listening to what the other one is saying. Being a gang member. People who wear ridiculous clothing on ridiculous prices just to show off they are well off financially. Usually young people. Judging other people's appearance without being asked for one's opinion. I'm not like other girls, usually followed by some variation of other girls are all sluts catty bitches and all of my friends are guys, girls are just too much drama. We get it. You have massive insecurity issues that don't allow you to be friends with other women because you can't stop comparing yourself to them, so other women don't like you because you can't stop being catty and starting drama with them. Bullying or purposely going out of your way to bug someone. Don't use virgin as an insult. The bar for getting laid is pretty low, your immaturity is showing. Making $99 shitty NFTs of yourself in hilariously bad superhero poses. Loudest and most charismatic person in the room generally is craving approval and attention. Buying a $10 billion social media site for $40 billion and banning everyone who makes fun of you. One-upping people on everything. Openly carrying AR-15s to Walmart and Starbucks. Actually, I'm sorry, that's an example of everybody realizing it, but the carrier. Feeling the need to point out the flaws in other people. HTTP. Revving an engine in front of a bunch of strangers who could care less about cars or motorcycles. If you define yourself by the power to take life, the desire to dominate, to possess then you have nothing. Buying a social media company. Releasing a set of NFT collectible trading cards. Driving a lifted truck. Truck nuts. Rolling coal. Super large trucks that don't haul anything. Pointing out other people's flaws. Being an asshole. Being jealous of your partner using sex toys. Those people who incessantly post on social media about their spiritual healing journey, living their best life, or generally going on long rambling monologues about how their newest self-help regiment is wildly successful. Jenny, we all know that you're gonna be screaming at someone on a street corner with a bottle of vodi in one hand before the week's over. You ain't fooling anyone. Commenting for upvotes only. Side note PLS upvote. Side side note S. Banning your critics on the social media platform you own. Mocking other people's insecurity. It's usually projection. Being rude to people. Being annoying just so people notice you. Very specific, but just thought of those people in the workplace who are constantly afraid of losing their position carry a very passive-aggressive attitude. They also constantly gossip to other co-workers higher-ups about you behind your back, constantly nitpicking at little problems to make you look bad. It's a sad, sorry defense mechanism. Insisting personal details and asking for explanation of why you prefer what you prefer even after clearly asserting the boundary, and then getting offended because intrusive questions have been refused. Big diesel truck when you have nothing to tow. Egotism and narcissism are signs of low self-esteem. Asking what comes across as insecure. Making fun of people who read or other hobbies that teach you things. Claiming to be an alpha. Simping for Elon. Calling yourself an alpha.